Hello everyone, so today we're gonna look at a nice problem from method of differentiation that stands for MOD. Now the problem is the new definition of a derivative of a given function is given by f dash of x is given by limit h is tending towards 0 f of x plus h whole raised to power 5 minus f of x whole raised to power 5 whole divided by h. Now our new definition of a derivative of a given function is f dash of x is given like this. Now the question is if f of x is x of ln of x this function and we have to calculate the derivative that is first order derivative that is f dash of x at given point x is equal to e. Now in the next slide I'm going to solve this question feel free to pause the video and try this question. Now in this question f dash of x is redefined as limit h is tending towards 0. We usually write from first principle but again they have redefined from the first principle that is limit h is tending towards 0 f of x plus h whole raised to power 5 minus f of x whole raised to power 5 whole divided by h. Now if the definition of the first derivative is defined using this definition our objective of the question is to calculate the derivative of this function that is x ln x and they are asking f dash of x that means first derivative at this particular value that is at Napier's constant they are asking. Now the first thing is if you see this function x ln of x here you cannot use product rule okay or question rule or anything here. Why? Because using the first definition, first principle, we got all the formulas. Differentiation of x is 1, differentiation ln of x is 1 by x. But that we got from the first principle. So first I'm going to write our previous definition of a derivative of a given function. And f dash of x can be given as limit h is tending towards 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h. So using this definition, we got product rule, quotient rule and all the standard derivatives. And we know all the standard derivatives. But here I cannot differentiate this function directly. Because we usually calculate using this definition and they have redefined the definition of the first principle. Okay, that is f dash of x. So we usually call this as first principle. Or this is also, also called as AB initio method. Now, most of you are doing this common mistake that is you're calculating this limit. So I'll show you how difficult it is to calculate this limit. Now here to calculate f dash of x, I'll do one thing. I'll plug the value of f of x here in order to calculate this f dash of x here. So f dash of x is equal to limit h is tending towards 0. Now here I'll replace x by x plus h in order to calculate f of x plus h whole raised to power 5. So we'll be getting x plus h whole raised to power 5 multiplied by ln of x plus h whole raised to power 5 minus now the value of f of x here and whole raised to power 5 that is x raised to power 5 ln of x raised to power 5 whole divided by h. Now think about calculating this limit in a particular stipulated time. You will not able to calculate because this limit is next to impossible to calculate within the stipulated time. Now we will be solving this question using the first principle only. And that's the beauty of this problem because if you directly attack this problem using brute force, you'll be end up calculating f dash of x using this limit. And the limit is next to impossible to solve. So that's why this problem is unique in its own kind. So I'm going to solve this in the next. Now previously I told you we're going to solve this question using the first principle. So our derivative through the first principle can be written as f dash of x is given by limit h is tending towards 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h. Now as I told you we will be solving this question using the first principle because through this first principle we got the derivative of our standard functions. For example the derivative of x to power of n I can easily write this as n into x to power n minus 1 or let's say the derivative of ln of x is equal to 1 by x. So through this basic definition our first principle we have defined that derivative of standard function as well as we have defined the product rule and quotient rule. Similarly, I cannot directly apply here product rule because the new definition says that the it is function raised to power 5 every time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to convert our new definition into the, our previous form because we are very much comfortable in the first principle. So here I have to take one substitution that is let's say for a moment I say f of x whole is to power 5 is equal to a new function that is u of x. Now we're going to write f dash of x. As soon as I'm going to write f dash of x, you will see your answer. So f dash of x can be written as the limit will not change, limit h is tending towards 0. 
Now f of x plus h whole raised to power 5 will be converted as g of x plus h because it is nothing but f of x plus h whole raised to power 5. Now we have taken f of x whole raised to power 5 as g of x so minus g of x here whole divided by h. Now after taking this substitution I can see this is the derivative of something this expression is a derivative of something so this is the derivative of let's check the first principle if this is written f of x plus h minus f of x upon h this is termed as f dash of x now this is nothing but g dash of x now indirectly they are asking me the derivative of g dash of x okay and g dash of x i can calculate using f of x whole is to power 5 so let's substitute the value of g of x here that is x ln of x whole is to power 5 and derivative of this function so now let's differentiate this function now it's very easy to differentiate this function rather than calculating the limit so differentiation of this is first I'll differentiate this power that is 5 x ln of x whole is to power 4 now I'm going to apply the product rule that is ln of x plus 1 now I want the derivative at particular value that is x is equal to e so I'm going to plug the value x is equal to here so after plugging the value e here I'll get this as 5 e raised to power 4 into ln e that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 so final answer is 10 multiplied by e raised to power 4 and this will be our final answer and that will be all.